Yeah, a, a crazy one, but outside of that, you beat Carolina, you beat Thieves, you beat Gorillas, right? It's not like you've matched up against anyone tough. Now, Boston, I think this will be a, a big test, at least early on. You know, a Karachi hardpoint, another one they're trying to play. LAG smoked them on this. If you're trying to widen your map pool, if you're trying to work on some things, this is when you should do it. It's scrims, obviously, but if you're trying to do it a live match out atmosphere, probably should be teams you're expected to be, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's see what they're able to do here, because, yeah, they have had their struggles on Karachi. Boston, the 2-2, two two, looking to uh, maybe move their way closer to a winner's bracket berth. But only Kenny early, maybe losing name assist for a second there, but able to set one up for Fred. It's Fred that's able to take down two. Is opt to get into the hard point. Yeah, Fred just going to stay down, have his ARs look over him now. You have Dashi top three. And there is this power position. He's starting to cash on in, finding a third. Snoopy there to trade, but some early time going the way of Opti, Texas. You can already see the green arrow starting to rotate over to the P2. And they'll get two there early. Uh, Priesta, Asim, a third. Spawning up as well, so they'll have the setup here as the rotation about to come in for Optic Texas. They'll look to maybe get an opening from Red Side's Dashi. Looking to try and get the kill, backing up and getting on the heady will be a seam. And the first two kills go to Boston Breach. So you get a little bit of breathing room. You'll get a little bit of setup here as the hard point gets ready to pop. Make sure no, uh, nothing funky really in transition. Yeah, I think this is going to be key for Breach. Really, their hold. They're one of the best teams in the league at holding uh, on the year. But it, it's really, I mean, talk about that Carolina series, right? The two hard points. Opti just, they had some breaks on some money hills that yeah, they yeah. took Carolina out of the game. Uh, so th that was it. So can Breach hold in positions like this? Well, Kenny is trying to make sure that doesn't happen. Fred looking to pop as well, and he's able to get through, and there's a break. You still have a presence here from Boston Breach. They're trying to get over that dumpster alley back wall, but in go Texas, and there's one break. Yeah, I mean, with 30 seconds left, you're going to take this time. Plus, you could already see number five, Kenny, in position to rotate over towards P3. Shotzi. I mean, what a series he had versus the Royal Ravens. Just every single respawn had so many individual moments. Him versus Gwyn, it was a blast to watch. Uh, but a, a good job here by Boston Breach on rotation slasher. He finds two, three kills to give them this rotation to another one, right? You're up 50 here. If you are opted, can you get another break? Or can you hold if you are the side of Boston? So far, so good as Snoopy able to get two. Shotzi was there looking for the trade through, but it's Brett that'll actually be able to get it. And now you start to build up your first actual push. As Snoopy looks to track back and get involved. You can see you're spawning out a bit right now and the comms are coming through and picking that up. Will be Shotzi, who's trying to deal with those players spawning out. Doing a good job to give his team a fair fight onto the point. I mean, he's even to see my man advantage, right? It's a three on two. He's saying I'm cutting off the spawners, but Snoopy's going to come back for the third go around. He's able to win that one. So the hill, nobody in it, but you've done a good enough job here if you are opting to make this messy. And Kenny going to find a double in the back alongside of Dashi. So fighting for this scrap time will be optic. Yeah, it, it can't go like this all game long, or you're going to eventually get blown out if you're Boston Breach. I know it's only a 30 point game right now, but. The holds have not lasted very long. Another terrific job by Optic Texas disrupting that early. But at the same time, if you're going to keep getting these early rotations of your Boston Breach, maybe you can eventually capitalize on and punish. But this time, it looks like on the rotation, it'll be Optic Texas, maybe the opportunity to get there first. You're going to have both teams in position primed to fight. Ten seconds in, nobody in the point yet. Yeah, right now, we're just waiting on Shotzi. He's trying to make the play, and he's going to find Priesta. So he's trying to get top three control. And look at this. It kind of allows him, all right, we can get onto the point now. To make sure, you know, we know nobody's a top three going to have the angle on the hill. Let's start to earn some time. Asim just playing his life bridge, waiting for his teammates off a of spawn. But Pred already read one spotter, so takes him down, down. So already, what, 15, 20 seconds earned here at this P4. That's fantastic if you are opting. But Asim patiently waiting. And there we go. There is the break. But, you know, if you get these 20 seconds, awesome. But Optic, you take that, plus you have the rotation over to P5. Yeah, I mean, already looking better than like last time. We probably saw him on Karachi. At least at this moment, it's still a lot. Of Call of Duty to be paid. Shotzi will take down two. Five seconds till the next hardpoint pops. Let's see if Shotzi has another series on his hands. He's up to 11 and four. Leading the way in the lobby. He was deep into his bag last time we saw him. Another opportunity to do it here. You try to get the peak if you're a seam, and Kenny is ready with the read. The wall bang is through, and now you got a nice separation here between where the fights are going down and where the hard point currently is if you're optic. I mean, Shotzi is still fighting him over towards Bridge in P1. Uh, this is great. Great. I, I, right, yeah, I mean, you remember last year, I mean, all of the years, right, with Shotzi, when he is free to fly around and just his people off, annoy them. That is just when he is at his best. He is so good at getting lost in the mix. Finally, 30 seconds in, 
to this hill. You have the first grenades hitting this from Boston Breach. So that is what Shotzi buys his team so much time. He's able to find three more. He is just going, and you see what this does for their hard point. Well, I think we talked a lot, especially early in the year, like uh, when one player, what an impact they can make when they get lost, right? You get a kill, you disappear. People are trying to hunt them down before they take the next step in their progress. He's just so good at being elusive. Yeah. It can be such a pain in the ass to deal with. As Optic now pushed the lead bigger in this map one, looking to take control, maybe get a map one victory to elicit him with Optic Texas. We go. Make up one shot. Is he hitting it? Reason. No, no, slow playing, slow playing, slow playing. Hitting it now, hitting it now. Hit I'm unsure, I'm in the fountain, guys. I got double C. I got double C. I got double C. Okay, one big test, two pre-sum reds. Make up one shot. Make up one shot. We're gonna be short at two. I got you. Oh, shit. Last guy, AC. You didn't kill him. I can't get him, I can't get him, I can't get him. I'm looking at him. It's really good, it's really good. I'm challenged. I'll catch him, I'll catch him. I'll catch him. What's up, mate? Open mid. 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 I'm behind him down. Yeah, yeah. What is it? I just saw one cross the thing. You're right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. uh, when is there a push? I think it's here. I'm going to find him. I'm, I'm going long. I'm going long. Can you iron over me? Can you stand over me? I'm looking at it. Hold on. He's behind the downer. He's behind the downer. He's behind the downer. Fucking bar. No, we can't. I'm with you. Why don't you push out inside our ticket? What's up? 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 I'm playing ticket. Yeah, I'm playing ticket. ticket. You want to take the ticket off? Ticket? Yes, I'm coming. I'm coming. Watch that ticket. Absolutely. Take it. Snoopy. One feet. He went there. Take it. 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 Sometimes we've gone and listened into the optic, or you've been watching. You've been frustrated because they'll go one by one. Maybe the pace won't be there. It, they were so deliberate, like you know, shots here by yourself. Somebody iron over me. Wait for me. Take your time. It felt very deliberate to get the pacing there for the break, and that's been lacking at times. I mean, that was a beautiful listening. It, it was. It, it was. really was. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, everybody on the same page, how we how we want to break this, and then again, another Shotzi play that gets them on the hill, and pretty much deja vu, except this time through Boston, they don't really have much presence over here right now towards P3. The first player here is going to be Brett, so he's earning some time with his NCW. Nice shots onto a seam, but again, it's at P2 break. You're there early twice if you're Boston, but Texas the teamwork on point, the slays on point, and you're earning the time. Yeah, I think we discussed too, maybe sometimes it's not really the gunny being warmed up, it's the comms. Like, we've gone to a list and it's been a little all over the place. Like, they were locked. Like, that was a, that was a very, very good listen. And, and a reason uh, you're seeing this score busted wide open. The map Dude. one is done. 250 to 92. Shasi, Optic, putting on a clinic, map one. The last couple of matches with this guy have been unbelievable. Um, and you know, I was looking at the stats before the match, and one thing, obviously their hard points five and two, they played some of their weaker maps. That was week one, but they just 100 point club Boston Breach. One thing that maybe stood out was like, Pred's around like a .98, right? But maybe it's just allowing Shotzi that freedom. I think, you know, you look at Pred from Seattle Surge last year, he was the guy doing that. And I, I think he can take turns with Shotzi, but it feels like when Shotzi is doing this, good luck. Yeah, I mean, it's, I think it's one of those things too. Like, just from, it's been a little weird from a stat standpoint. Times so, okay, Dashy this year, maybe the previous years, and the role he has here. I'm just one that I don't really give a shit what what the stats are individually. When you win 250 to 92, when the comms sound like that, all right. And the value of having a team like this, where you have four people that can come out and swing the hammer at any moment, like you have talent everywhere. Anyone can pop off at any moment. It's definitely been Shotzi as a white, though. <laughs> no, <laughs> That's it, for sure. It has. It started right here with this P2 break. I mean, it just kind of hits the ball rolling. Uh, and I just think they do a very good job of finding a player who gets pushed out. That was the one thing in the list that really stood out to me. Shotzi kept going. One guy did cross the ticket. One guy crossed the ticket. They said it, you know, four or five times just to make sure we had an idea of where that player was. And as soon as they hit that player down, that is when they know they have the numbers advantage and you find the next break. And I think there's a very big difference between the way that was said versus, listen, uh, COD comms can be a meme at times, you know, but come from another eSport there. Things will be screamed three times in a row, right? Like it gets really frantic. That wasn't that. That was just like, hey, I'm here first. As the boys come over and deal with their situation, they were in kind of reminding people. Like, it wasn't those like frantic comms. No. It was just like somebody crossed. Like, oh, it's how important it was. It yeah. was, it was. No, 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 100%. But that was, uh, yeah, I just think 
that's the one thing that's frustrating you and I at times watching them is just it seems the comms aren't there yet. That was just a very, very solid listen. It really was. I think uh, when this team formed, people wanted to see stuff like that. It, yeah, that's, yeah. That, that was a statement hard point what, right there. What did I say last week? I was like, I want them to come out and kick someone's ass. Like, I, That's yeah. what I wanted to see because I know the team is capable of it. Yes, yes, that map one is what I wanted to see. That was uh, terrific. <laughs> uh, absolutely just dominated really uh, from the get-go. You take an early lead. Well, what's a little bit different maybe versus Carolina, you know, you're up in that the 80 to 40, 100 to 50. That just kind of goes with it the entire game, right? Like they couldn't cut loose from them. Here, once they got separation, they were gone. Yeah, and I, again, you know, Boston, you have those two P2s where maybe you try to cash in on it, but you, you saw, I mean, when you're breaking from, from red, really what happens is is you're going to spawn them all the way towards the left side of the minimap and what does that open up the rotation to p3 now slasher did a good job the first time through to get them out of that but again it was a, it was a p3 break uh the gunny just on point the brace on point for optic and uh, that is a 250 to 92 one of the yeah the largest map wins we've seen in a while and it's just hopefully another one you're adding to your repertoire if you are Optic just trying to widen the map a little and trying to get Karachi in there a little more comfortably. You get a really solid win there, the best we've seen them look. And now you get ready for a terminal search and destroy. And now we'll talk a little bit about Boston because that's the thing. Listen, when this uh, this change happened and his team came in, it reminded me a lot of uh, like Carolina Royal Ravens when you first made your change. Like their hard point starting to click, right? Like you see the hard point looks so strong. It, it was just the other modes and the SD control didn't really click as quickly. Um, this is where you're going to have to find some wins if you're Boston. Yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, Opti still wants to improve here, but I think Boston, this is uh, the big, yeah, focal point for them. One in four uh, in their last five, just trying to get a, a seam still mixed in with the squad. Again, we're two and two, but it's been about the hard point. They've squeaked out one control win, one hard point win. That's led to two match wins. But outside of that, it's just been relying on the hard point. And if you're going to be playing hard point like that versus Optic, you got to look at two, three, and five. Yeah, and they're just in a position where, you know, they've been this team that can surprise us. And, you know, like the, the, I don't know, Major One Qualifier where they beat Ultra. Or like you have these moments where you really look like you're going to be able to push into like tier two or something like that. But like with Paris improving, Paris, again, Paris this week. You've been doing it with a lot. Las Vegas Legion improving. Uh, you know, people are getting better. They're going to have to show these improvements as well. I Maybe I said we need to go on a trip to Paris together, you know? You and I? Just Leave the not. wife and kid at home as you and I go to Paris? Yes, yeah, you'd love that. Nothing more. Maybe you just take her and I'll be all right. <laughs> Dude, Mo and I would have a blast, bro. Yeah. I'd, be, I'd be a fun trip. But uh, yeah, we take a look at this full Optic Texas lineup. What a map one victory it was. Shotzi, I'm pretty sure he had that smile the entire map. Honestly, if I was 27 and 7, that's how I'd be playing. Just, yeah, look at the white teeth. Smile up, gunny up, frying. Absolutely frying, but now over to Terminal, where, uh, yeah, I mean, both of these teams, not the best on this one. One and two for Boston, uh, a one and four here for Optic. They've played it a lot. Another one where I think when you watch them, especially on their offense, you rely a lot on Shotzi, just inside of the jet bridge, Terminal, whatever you want to call it going into playing with the rival and, and making something happen. And when it doesn't happen, they look a little bit lost. So uh, you just see what they do on their attack. I mean, he's really good at it. It's just, if he happens to get shut down, do you have something else? Well, I mean, there is, I think, just with this lineup and all the talent there, there is some pressure on Shotzi. Like he kind of, he is plays different than, well, about everyone else in the world, <laughs> especially Everybody. everyone else on this team. He's going to he's gonna be hit and miss at times, but man, how much better they look when he is hitting. It's unbelievable. Fred. Just waiting and looking down that plane lane. Snoopy just tucked right outside the window. You've got three people stacked on the B side of things, looking for an opening to hear all the tacticals and lethals going out. Yeah, you can kind of see Breacher just going to give this up. They're going to play for the retake. You heard, heard a smoke go down, some nades going out, as you said it. And this round should come down to this one versus one. It could just come down to Snoopy versus Pred. And there we go. Pred, he tries to look for the angle top three. Snoopy there comes to the window, able to find that kill. So man advantage. That's what they were playing for. That's what Snoopy was playing for. Now, can they find the final two? You got 30 seconds to go. Still going to find the kills and find the retake. Dash, he's had some phenomenal moments of clutches on this map in particular. One of the better shots in the game. Oh, still a nade. Can he line him up at beam? Not going to happen. No trophy to work with. Nade's going to hit. Kenny will drop. And the option to back up and retake works out for Boston Breach. And as you said, that one-on-one, -on -one, a big one on the other side. Yeah, I mean, it's just Pred is shooting, you know, trying to get an angle to help his team. Going top eskies and 
Snoopy's just waiting, just a little bit more patient. Slasher does almost die from the shots coming in from Pred, but he's able to back down, plays his life. Wow. And then you still have the one nade, right? So Snoopy rotates through, has the stun nade. And that's just checking where Dash is, if there's a player in that position, and there was. Well, unless it's, like, real clean on the site, like the attacking site, like how often does it come down to, like, the one player offensively or defensively kind of on the offside? What timing they get, if they yeah. win their one-on-one, -on -one, if they find a free pinch, like... More often than not, that player, yeah, is going to have a massive impact. And you see things unravel there for Optic. Boston Breach Strike first. Now what can they do on the offensive end of things? Looks to be heavy-handed. And over towards B, early smoke out. Trophy there for protection for Optic. But a seam hit the edge, able to take out Pred. Yeah, Pred pushed up in that corner, hoping to find one. Again, the difference from what we saw from round one is Breach, they just backed up. As soon as there was a presence towards B, they were like, we'll just play the retake four versus four optic. They try to get Pred in that corner instead. He gets cut down. So now you have two players left in Kenny and Dashi. Yeah, now you you win it on the other side too. I think it's what Slasher's able to get a kill. So everybody, they try to rotate across, maybe take their two on one here. So that ends up being a real smart choice in the sense they can eliminate a man kind of for free, but now you still have this two on three to try to get done. You're likely going to have to really gun somebody here, and it's not going to happen. Snoopy, able to get another. Yeah, and again, just the repositioning, right? All right, there's two players left. They both hit me out dream side. Uh, so they just take top three. They take bottom eskies. Just playing together as a unit these first couple of rounds. Dashy, just not a lot of time to work with. Just trying to find a couple of gun fights. Doesn't happen. Snoopy with some good shots. Yeah, I mean, the POVs from Optic, it seems kind of similar. It's like Pred goes down first. He just gets blooded. We end up with Dashius in a really tough spot yeah. over there by SK. This is what these first couple rounds look like. And that's one of sort of the, the, the default offenses. I just remember early on with Boston, sort of those lightweight boots from Snoopy attacking top SKs, throwing out the smoke. You see it there in the round two. Well, Boston Breach, they've had a lot of work to do in search and destroy, and so far, so good. I mean, map one, we saw kind of the improvements for Optic Texas in the hard point. Maybe we'll see some wondrous improvements here for Breach in the search and destroy. Can you get a third round in a row? A little bit difference now. Is the site looking to be a push? Is going to be A. You've got everybody here from Optic. The lone man defensively is going to be Snoopy. Can he play his life? Can he get a kill? What's the young guy capable of? Uh, this is always such a gamble. He either find one or you find nothing. He's going to find one and make it two. Ow! Almost all three. Ooh. That is a rival. Good shots from Shotzi, but job well done from Snoopy. Yeah, I said, can you live and can you find one? Yeah, we'll, we'll take two. Typically, <laughs> people pre-fire that, right? I mean, it's just such a, a spot where you don't see anyone playing. You might as well shoot it. They know you're there. You might as well put some shots into the back wall. That doesn't happen. Shotzi bomb planted, able to find one. But that is going to be it. Uh, this one, I mean, yeah, it's Snoopy. <laughs> the, the fact that he's able to get so much information, get two kills, probably lead to a third with how much damage he got into a third player. Unbelievable stuff. And, yeah, maybe it's a moment where you've – it's a bit of a gamble. Like, you just got to wall bang that, check it. I mean, that's three first bloods. Again, opening dual percentage, maybe one of the, the weaker points there for Optic Texas. It's like some of those teams are kind of the bottom of the table. That's so you're improving, but you, you still want to see a little bit more here. Yeah, I mean, with how good their respawn's been, like, you know, four and three is like, it's a tough right. win you a tournament. Yeah. But, yeah. but like, like you said, it's not against the, the heavier competition where that can flip on its head very quickly. I see him. Gets forward another first blood through. I don't even know how Kenny got those final couple that's, bullets off to get the kill. Trade. It looked like he was like off his screen. And you got some nice tags, and I thought if you were a seam, but an insane kill from Kenny. Yeah, Mace is doable here for Optic. Yeah, I thought the round was basically toes. <laughs> a seam was waltzing and getting two, but Kenny now will catch the nade. Slasher able to connect. Boom. Yeah, I mean, nice nade. Maybe Kenny is thinking they don't have nades or there's a trophy down still. Not, not the case. So another man advantage. Or hopefully there's Boston a land Bridge. in my pocket. Yeah. We need to get that AC checked AC out. AC is pumping yeah, in Yeah, well, I've never heard this loud before. Is that inside of Pred? Pred shooting at his teammates. Shotzi <laughs> saw him last alive. Uh, last round, same thing here. What, what was that? Is, that? is that one AC unit cool in the whole goddamn airport? <laughs> it was a loud one, It man. was roaring. But Boston, this has been a... I mean, first of all, great bounce back after the map one thrashing. Yeah, true.
But I think Optic, I'd like to see him, see him play maybe around retakes a little bit more often. So taking some of these gambles, staying around, maybe a little ego, taking, trying to take some gunfights, but they're just not working out right now here for Optic Texas. Priest, the one off of a cruise. Yeah, he's 5-0. and oh. Oh. Yeah, Started 5-0. and oh. But yeah, I mean, you've, got, you've gotten every first blood. You've had man, another one. man advantage in every situation. It continued there, but not for a long. Is this like the first time you've had advantage if you're Texas? You're in a 3v2 it now. Is. Yeah, it is. <laughs> the first time you've had advantage, you get the bomb planted, a chance to get a massive round victory here. Maybe pull this to 4-1 instead of 5-0. But you still got to close this out. Yeah, Chinch just come down to Snoopy, trying to work through a book. Nice nade from Slasher. He does it again. Turns this into a two versus two. So winnable. 25 seconds left. Was Snoopy going to hit the full flank? No. He's going to hit through hallway. He's got another stun. So Boston making sure they always have stuns and grenades for the retake. But okay, I thought it wasn't going to matter. It almost does. Great shots out of Snoopy, but numbers advantage for Optic. Yeah, I was going to say, like, beautiful job by Sachi, uh, Shotzi there. Just kind of using the pillar, staying up, waiting for the help to come in. But then as we switch POVs, his teammate dropped so fast. I'm like, hold up. I don't think he got any damage in. A chance for maybe a crazy play there from Snoopy. We finally get one on the board for Optic. Yeah, again, I think you're just hoping... Your Boston, you kind of play that two top SGs, hoping to get one more to turn into a two versus two. It just doesn't happen. It was close, but that's what these players are so good at when they're getting shot, just staying alive, buying another second or two, allowing their teammate to come in for a quick trade. Now, Priest will get that cruise. We'll see when that will come into effect. He's showing Pred for a moment just because he's 0 5. It was a rough one to start. He got blooded in a couple of early rounds. Now, the cruise in. To put it in there, he will, and Pred, well, he, he's having a rough one. Yeah, no, Pred's getting picked on now, guys. This is bordering on bullying. 0-6 now, Cruz takes him out of it, blooded in three of these six rounds. Hey, look at the map that they have taken. They knew there was one in plane from the comms, but just not sure exactly where he was. There was a nice straight shot, now going for a peek. He gets taken down, and yeah, I see him. He worked outside as soon as that Cruz was called in. She's not ready for him in that position. Now Dashy in a one versus three. And yeah, you mentioned sort of uh, Optic's opening dual percentage, not maybe the best. And it's just tough because you're just, yeah, you're relying so often on pulling off these three V4s, uh, two V4s, and pulling off these really difficult situations. And props to Breach, I mean, for the most part, you've just done a good job when you've had numbers. Uh, or if it's gotten scary, it's a slasher nade that comes in from somewhere and kind of bails you out. Uh, yeah, no, I think this is just a map where you play a lot of 4-on-4 four four retakes. Uh, and we've seen that in the past, and Breacher opting for that here. If you see the, it's a lot of grenades, smokes over towards B, just, just give it up. Same thing over towards A. Well, you had the Snoopy play, but they're not afraid for the retake towards B. Yeah, I mean, it's been one-sided. Map one was one-sided for Optic here for Breach. I mean, Fred and Dash here combined to be 1 in 12 currently. But look at this. You, you had no info outside of a smoke, and they just give up B. So now all focus is pretty much over towards A, and they're ready for this because of the game plan. Well, if you're comfortable retaking one side, Joe, it makes it pretty easy to defend the other. <laughs> and you're seeing that so far out of Boston Breach. It's worked perfectly. They're able to get one, but only one. They collapse on in. And you get Priest to caught as he's trying to rotate across from Breeze. So from B point, yes, you're ready, but nice push there from Texas. Now it's all gonna be on a seam. Three in a row and a one versus two. Yeah, you might know where they're coming from, but you can still get gunned. And that's exactly what happens. The stun hits onto Snoopy. The player slides across. That aim assist goes with him. <laughs> and that's when things get wild. Get numbers here. You handle business if you are optic. And yeah, they had two players there, but I mean, hell, the best round they had there was when they had one, and Snoopy is kind of lurking. This time you have the, not really the numbers, but you have more of a presence. You just only walk away with one. Who was the, the point man with Snoopy, right? He was the yeah. first, yeah, the front guy. Because I think Slasher like, finished off that first kill, but with two of you there, you hope maybe you get two. Not going to happen in that one, and optic stays alive. They'll have to rip off five straight if they're going to get this map two victory. Offense pretty spread early here from Breach, but you see Bomb flirt with the A side for the moment. Snoopy at 8-4, sitting double positive. 
I like this from Breach, just switching it up, slowing it down. See, it's pretty much a 2-2 here for Optic. You have one player inside a cockpit. That's Shotzi just, just hanging out for now. And maybe the, the call is just to leave him there. So Pred's just going to watch bottom plane. So it's Shotzi, 9-6. and six. Sometimes it just comes down to him. And that might be what happens in this round. You got him and Pred here lurking. Slasher working the whole way around. Backside playing. He's got eyes on Dashy. Top's trying to make sure it's free. Make sure he's got the ability to get the entire kill. And he had the help there from a seam. So Pred could just drop down and maybe get an instant trade. He's still just lurking, waiting That's for Pred to too. pop. Whoop! A peek comes in. Seems to drop. Does he expect two players, though? Looking like he does for now. Backs up. Holds it from a different position. I thought he saw him for a moment, maybe, when he backed up from the first fight. I couldn't tell. Shotzi tags in, but can't get the kill, despite the fact that Pred is holding it. Well, he has to turn to probably kill Priest. The slasher then able to pop. Time is dwindling, though. Only five seconds left to go. Bomb in a position. You're not going to be able to get it done. Slasher. Alive, but Texas with the round win. I mean, it's a great job by Breach to find the opening bottom plane, but yet you still have to get through the plane. Uh, you, yeah. you know, obviously, Pred is, you know, Dashy gets picked, and he's probably like, what the hell? They're, they're back plane. Uh, but Shotzi is the, the point man in the cockpit. He's able to find the bomb carrier in Snoopy. And as soon as that happens, it's just sort of a two-man game inside the plane. Uh, so bombs down. There's no rotation that can come through for Boston. So as we said, kind of starts with Shotzi, and he puts the round in their advantage. Yeah, no, Dashy probably was definitely like, what the hell? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> the moment he uh, died. Guys. <laughs> but it all worked out. As you said, you can get all the position in the world. They're still going to fight into the plane. Uh, I think he goes to dive. The gunfight starts right at the same time. So Shotzi takes a bullet in the back of the head from Kenny. you still able to get to the point. So now the gun uh, bomb is getting planted. One's going to get wall bang, though, and Dashy was going to drop. And suddenly he's going to be pred by himself. One versus three in the post plane. Yeah, trying to catch them on nice rotation. Win. Able to find the seam. Has no info on the bomb. The grenade will buy him some time. And there we go. Repositions, not able to find that kill. If he finds that, it's very doable. But now he knows he has to peek the bomb. He's got to have to peek it. And well, you have the pistol on the ladder. Not going to happen. It's another first blood for Boston Breach. And they tie things up at one. Yeah, it ends up being, what, 6-3 score line. But, I mean, it was pretty dominant. You go up massively early in this one. And, hey, I mean, one of the questions coming into this was how, uh, are the search destroyers going to improve for Boston? How's Karachi going to look for Optic? Uh, you want to see improvement from some of these teams in places they've struggled, and so far you see it from both squads in the map one and two. Yeah, I think for Optic just maybe uh, got to figure out maybe a different game plan, some of their default strats, how they want to play top SGs, maybe just play around the retakes. But uh, the first bloods, we won't see it there, but it was six or seven, maybe more that go the way of Boston oh, yeah. Breach where they just had round advantage and ran away with it. No, they certainly did. Such a good job in the early rounds. I think you're right. Like, it just seems like Optic need to kind of rethink maybe how they want to play that a little bit. Um, you know, maybe honestly, just happy Boston. I think that was a great fundamental way to play that map. It really was. Uh, retake yeah. B, and if they go away, let's just have three guys ready to shoot through every part of this play. Yeah, no, no. It, that was the game plan. It was obvious from the start, and they're able to get the map two victory there. Tie us up at 1-1, one, one, but... The tough part if you're Boston Breach, uh, you've had some woes in the control. We know how strong Optic can be. Yeah, this is, uh, I mean, they're undefeated so far here in Major 2 Qualifier. Another area where I think Boston are trying to improve. What's been their go-to has been high-rise control. That obviously uh, gets taken out. They don't want to play that. So uh, Optic's going to choose Invasion every time. Okay, well, we get ready uh, for Invasion. We'll see if Optic can take the 2-1 advantage. But so far, I mean, I think you've got some good and bad for both teams. Yeah. I mean, honestly, Optic come out looking so strong on that map one. Uh, they clearly were the better team. They had the game plan on the other side of things in the search and destroy. I think, Joe, you nailed it. Like, Boston Breach, just well, the game plan was there. You knew exactly what they were trying to do. Optic couldn't crack that particular nut. But now we get ready for map three. Um, I don't know, Joe. We'll see what way this is going to go. Who's taking the map three, Joe? I'm going Optic. Yeah, they haven't lost it yet. That's probably going to be the case. Everybody get ready for a barn burner. Tied up 1-1, swing game. Coming up next, don't go anywhere. Upgrade your game with the SCUF, the official controller of the Call of Duty League. The Call of Duty League is brought to you by Monster Energy, the official energy drink of the CDL. I just want to show everyone why we're the best team in the world, and I think we've been putting up a lot of hard work.
stun will hit. Just a BC does a good job not giving him the one-on-one. -on -one. Then gets his head ripped. Hits some great shots. Awakening. Tagged down to weak, but it's Awakening that's able to win it. That is a clutch and a half in round one. Purge, he found the right moment to snap, and trades are gonna be there. Purge gets the double kill as well. Purge gonna hold it down from the top right side. He was the one that really broke through over towards P1, and he might be the reason that Vegas Legion win this game. With kills early, wall bangs coming through. 38 HP for Abizi. He's dodging. Sometimes you just gotta try some different oh, tracks. Oh, as oh, Abizi, yeah. He's up to eight quickly. There's another one. A little bit too There's late. Another ten spree and an ace. Too easy for Mr. Abizi. That is disgusting and also can't happen. Shotzi, when he's in his bag, bro, it is so fun to watch. Like there is a rhythm and a rhyme to his gameplay, and it's a blast. Well, he's going to call it a cruise right away. Flies on down, hits the speed boost. And he may be the most entertaining player in the CDL, and he's dropping some of the biggest numbers. So Ultra players, it looks like they're going to four-man group up together and work. Draws his phone two in the middle of the map with Renetti. He's going to find the third as well. Draws a lighten up the kill feed. And on the face, sending us to around 11. Honestly, it's just us in Toronto, but as you see, we just 3-0'd them, so I think they're and we're on top. Everybody, uh, we hope you're having a magical and very sexy day. We're ready to keep it going here as we uh, continue on their first match. We're tied up at 1-1. Uh, we have a bunch of Call of Duty action to bring you today, but so far, fantastic. We didn't know if Optic would come out and just smoke them 3-0 in this series to continue on, if we were going to have ourselves a little bit of a war. Right now, it's tied up. Yeah, no, it is. Uh, and honestly, pretty controlling on both ends. Hardpoint, yeah. Optic, yeah, 100 point club. Uh, that terminal S&D, 6-3, but very convincing wins here for Boston Breach, where you're now looking at this uh, control. If you are a Boston fan, 0-10 in attack rounds with the team. That's 0-6 in on Invasion. So they've lost two maps here throughout the Major 2 qualifiers. Uh, yeah, losing all of those rounds on offense. Well, uh, that sounded pretty much all negative, Joe. What do you take me through the positives now? Is we the monster pregame for Optic? <laughs> uh, yeah, they are first in win rate. I, I mean, they are just uh, unreal in control right now. Sitting at 4-0, first in ticks caps per round. 100% B capture point on high rise and invasion. A little bit better. And uh, yeah, heavy favorites right now for this map three if you're Optic Texas. So you can kind of brush off that map two loss. Yes, you want to improve more in search and destroy, certainly, but 
Boston's been working on things too, and man, they came into that one prepped. Now, for the map three, Shotzi, uh, will he be able to get loose and be just the terror that he's been over these last couple of weeks? An invasion of map, you get in your flow state, you can dominate. I mean, one comes to mind recently, Nero, dude. <laughs> what he was able to do on invasion control recently has been nuts. Yeah, now mid tank control goes the way of Optic, and they're actually sending one player in Shotzi out spawn. He's just going to get right on this A point. So, kind of attacking both zones. Can you find a tank here? You have some help. Pred is watching this cross. The problem is, is your teammates have died. So the flank is open and Pred forgot to reload his gun. That also doesn't help. So opted for the Renetti. Him and Shotzi finessing, Ooh. trying to play their life. Nice read by Priesta. The tick still hasn't come through, but it's going to be three dead and he's still alive. And this is what you were talking about. Can Shotzi get loose? He already is on A. Two kills to work with thus far, second player following up. And now you see they're kind of working both points, but now you see the shift in focus coming from Texas. They're working to try and get help here. Number seven, Pred looking down that mid lane, trying to make sure he gets shots in. A just about to be done. They swing on it one more time, they get shut down. Now you try to kick it right over to B. Set up there defensively early, you've got to see him. Yeah, well, the rest of the team's gonna have to deal with the two players that tapped A still, so Shotzi is still running around. He's on four in a row. Make it five, and now on the pinch it comes the rest of his team. So the last player alive is Slasher over towards Broking. He's already hoping to just find a kill, They're able to do so to slow things down. But the man that we have been talking about in respawn, he is 6-1 and one with a cruise. Shotzi is just playing unbelievable. Well, this is like exactly where you want him. It's the perfect scenario. He captures A, and then he's the one loose in the back line as you're trying to deal with it, because he's been turning so many heads, also finding kills. Now, you don't get the progress onto the point. You've done good if you're the front line from Boston Breach, but maybe the damage already been done. You still have a minute 20 to work with. The good thing, though, you didn't lose like a ton of lives. Like, there wasn't a major advantage that went the way of Optic Texas. You just can't, you have to avoid like a 3-4 down at all costs, so this map's over. Yeah, so far so good here for Breach on this next attack from Optic. That's gonna be three dead Pred, the last man through. And when there's always one left, you know, someone like Shotzi or Pred, it's just like, do you just leave him, focus on the reinforcements, right, just ignore him, waste his time, and it looks like that's gonna be the play call, and I don't hate it here for Boston. That's gonna be two dead as a team kill comes in, and again, Let's just take the 4v3 on the other side of the map, leave them in our spawn. Well, I think that's kind of the difference. Like, Shotzi, while he was back there, was making plays, getting kills, getting loose. You saw, like, arrows turning here. They were sort of like, all right, Fred, have fun back there. <laughs> yeah. Have a great time. We don't care. You're not doing anything. He finally tries to get back involved, and he gets gunned. So, Fred will go back to spawn, and now you've only got 30 seconds left. Now you're taking this advantage. If you are Boston, Dashie's nade's going to take out, too. No respawns remaining for Optic. And this has been a really good setup and hold from Breach. Yeah, now three lives remaining, 20 seconds. What a recovery again from Boston Breach. So you at least have a cruise to match the cruise of Shotzi. And well, I, I'm not gonna blame anyone except our stats guys that obviously jinxed Optic with that stat. Like 100% yeah. on B. Yeah. <laughs> it is no longer 100%. Yeah. Not that far below it, but that perfect stat <laughs> is gone. Um, and yeah, considering, you know, the fact that you were dealing with Shotzi in your back line early, you lost A so quickly, they just never panicked. And I think they avoided kind of what I said, that, that three or four down, which, I mean, that's kind of the map, if that, or the round, if that happens. They traded effectively. And then once they were able to push up and sort of take all the fights to spawn, yeah, they made Fred completely ineffective there for a 30-second stretch and dominated. Yeah, and I think uh, Slasher, who was the last player alive at B, he won like a big one-on-one -on -one versus Kenny, which bought his team more time. If he dies, round probably done. Yeah, have yeah, multiple good players point. on B. Uh, so shout out to, to Slasher, right, finding that one on one. Giving his time, his team to recover and deal with Shotzi. Maybe they should think of a similar strat like when they were on search and destroy. You know, there's no retakes exactly, not in the same way, but like just give up A. Lock down B, Joe, improve their defense. What do you think? I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure that is. Maybe just give up B. Yeah. Yeah, I'm <laughs> yeah that's usually the, the more, more standard route. Oh, no, no, I, I am kidding. That would be the <laughs> dumbest plan ever, but. Uh, Really, just you don't see that hole all that often. Beautiful job. Now, can they get something done offensively? You come in here and win this offensive round here and firm control of this map and throw all the stats we have for this one out the window. But lots of work to do. And Shotzi, he got his two kills, tried to move up the map, maybe apply pressure to the spawn, but not going to happen. Slash is out his number. Yeah, Pred has just been patiently waiting here, just watching this cross from Broken. 
We're gonna have three players in that spot. One player A S and D. Pred's gonna find one, and I love that. Just back down, try to buy some time because your teammates are locked in on the rest of the map. They found the one player on an island in, in Slasher. Maybe he was thinking about just kind of doing what Shotzi did, right? All the attack and pressure is over towards B. I'll just go try to hop on A. And well, it was an impressive round from Boston in round one. May have just been one up here in round two by Optic. Yeah, I think what was so impressive about Boston is the fact you lost A first and then you really recovered really well. Here, if you're Optic, the impressive part, there's never really a threat. They put up the green wall, the clamps are on. There was not a moment of offensive pressure there from Boston Breach. Well, what we talked about, uh, yeah, just coming into this, the attacking side of control for Boston is just not there at the moment. Yeah, it's, I mean, the defense, it almost, it's like I'm watching, it's like I'm watching U.S. soccer, honestly, Joe, like most of the years we've had of these last couple of decades, right? Like, are we going to be a threat to score? <laughs> Maybe once or twice a game, but our defense might do all right. <laughs> Yeah, it's not great. <laughs> hey, we're improving. We're improving. We got a shot. A couple of years here. Watch. We're making a run. But yeah, not, not a lot of offensive opportunity there for Boston Breach. Priest, though, starts things off. A little help from a car exploding, I believe, and I, takes right. down two. Yeah, yeah, there was a trophy there, so it has to be the car. The nade must have, uh, yeah, gone off before the trophy was down. But that'll slow things down over towards A, which, all right, we know where they're going to go off spawn. It's going to be right to the B point. We need a great defensive round here. If you are Boston, they might have one. Yeah, I mean, much better start, obviously. Into the early going here. Not allowed Shotzi to get onto A. They're so far locking it down at B. But now it's a little bit more standard here for Optic Texas. We'll see if they can kind of get back to being perfect over towards this B site. We just saw that graphic. Yeah, Dash, he's 7-1 in round two. So a big round from him there. Graphics, by the way, today. Fantastic. I love it. Makes me feel all kinds of ways. Snoopy picked. On the point, nearly done with your second part of this B point. It's been a skirmish so far. Lives advantage up to five now for Boston Breach. And you've held it for a significant amount of time. Make sure even if they get this B point, they're going to have to throw lives at it. Maybe you can widen this margin even more. Yeah, I mean, if you're able to, like, not allow them to get B, I mean, depending on how the attacking round goes, you may still put yourself in a position, ticks-wise, to have defense round five. But uh, it looks like Optics are going to find that player, Dardali, get on this B point. So it looks like B's going to be done. Yeah, eventually they're able to stack their behind the kill and the trophy. You get your three ticks, you get the point. Now we think about the other side of it. At number one and Snoopy kind of pushed up watching that cross, making sure they're still spawning all the way out B side of Palace. And have to try to funnel this through the back because they're still going to have to deal with him if they're going to try to hit this th straight through the A street. But now you're able to get a couple of kills. He's the lone man sort of set up there bridge side. And you've gotten him behind if you're Shotzi again. Can you be a threat here? Not yeah, they, happen. yeah, they knew. They were looking for him. You saw those green arrows off spawn looking both ways. They're able to find Fred, who was the next man up. Dashy deals with Snoopy, so you have uh, some presence here on A Street to at least start your attack. The shots he's able to find one as well, so some breathing room here for Optic. Yeah, yeah, it's like if you have to fight up the B Street every time you're gonna try and push A, you're gonna get about two looks at A, if if any. So you're finally able to get bridge clear. Now you start to push this up. Fred's gonna get caught and dropped though. Snoopy to see him line up multiple. Almost able to snap back and take a third is Snoopy. Would have been ludicrous, but probably enough damage done. You got no respawns remaining again is, well, sometimes the invasion, it's just a battle of defense. That is, and that's all it's been here. And again, Boston, they kind of were going to that A defense early. Snoopy opted to go over towards that A street for about 30 seconds. It's again, when they're sticking to something, they are just all on the same page. Boston Breach, you saw it in search, you're seeing here in control. But again, need to find some success on offense because you might end up with two here to end this game. So what would they need? Uh, I I don't even think it's possible. It's not, is it? Yeah. They got none their first, right? Yeah. And that it, doesn't help you. They'd have to, yeah, they'd have to go six. They, they didn't win the map, yeah. so yeah. Oh, that's why I asked. I was like, can they even do it? Usually, that we've talked about that over the years in control. Usually, if you have a round where you get blanked on offense, you're kind of screwed. <laughs> You've got to get something. you got to get something. 
and they weren't able to do it. Kenny and Brent come through with the openers for Texas. Getting funneled kind of towards A just due to the position you have if you are Shotzi. As he's pushed up all the way on the B, basically. Well, this is one of those spots, right? You're really, really not committed to either point. Maybe trying to get Snoopy onto A to make an individual play, and that might say, hey, let's transition over towards A. He doesn't know. There's nobody back there. We know it, of course. But as his teammates try to get to, to a spot to help him, they, they get cut down. So that's all for dead. And you might get blanked again here. Oh, he 100% thinking I got to win one more fight to get yeah. onto this. But no, they had a heavy presence mid and B. He kind of walks on over free. I'm not sure it would have changed how things broke down, but maybe. But yeah, you're uh, you're in the blender early, and there four kills go through. The blend continues, shaking up a nice smoothie filled with Boston Breach. Ugh. Why did you sell like bananas and blueberries? I don't know. I don't know. Something wrong with you. Uh, but yeah, zero ticks in uh, a round two. And looking like zero ticks here in round four. Maybe behind a couple of kills on the street, they can get there. Kenny, the last man. Not having the best of games, but the nade will connect. That's enough. That's enough. And that is going to be enough. He had seven kills coming into this round. I think he puts five on the board in that one. So here we go to round five. I'm not even wondering if Breach can win this round. I'm wondering if they can find a tick. So you think the fact that they've gotten zero ticks so far on offense doesn't bode well for them in a fifth round offense, Joe? All stats in round five go out the window. They, they do, but I don't know. This seems a little, <laughs> no. this might be a little too much. Yeah. <laughs> we said that before, but usually like, you know, I, they've gotten B at least, right? Like no pressure towards A. Like you've just, you've been just spawning basically <laughs> on offense. What a breach could on offense. Well, they spawned. Yeah. They, they used their lives. They shot their guns. They tried. <laughs> they put it all out there. Yeah, and they've kind of, Gone for like a mid to. Come on, give me a end. tick! Give me a tick, boys! And they're gonna four stack this early. They're gonna get right on it. Fourth through dark trophy. They can do down. it! Trophy down, the tick Woo! is in, and it is good. That's it, we get in the map. That's a win. It's not. They still got five more to go. Ah, oh, damn it. The second one not done yet. Shotzi in a position to stop it. There is the progress. Comes down to a 1v1, though, and Dash is able to win it. So the point not complete. Yeah. Oh, just he was pissed off. I completed the kill. Now they try to hit to the other side quickly, see if they get damaged on there. Just trying to create a little bit of chaos, probably. Oh, nothing's been working. It was our discipline in search and destroy, our discipline on defense. On offense, we just got to get a little bit freaky with it. I just be hitting stuff. Whatever we're doing is yeah, not working no, at all. Just hit it. No, it, it, again, this transition after the point of A, they kind of go through mid tank over towards A. Snoopy gets through. He wins two one on ones. Now has the help of a seam. He's in round five magic, Joe. Well, there's a cruise missile on both sides. So there's missiles flying through the air, doing tricks. Priest is hitting Pred. We got two players on the point. Oh my God, not again. I don't know how it happens. There's something magical in the air. It's like you're reading a Harry Potter novel. Hey, done. One more point needed on B. From zero offense to an offensive explosion, Joe, the likes of which the world has never seen. Okay, well, they all died. Now we go back to square one. 90 seconds to go. It's all right. A lot of work complete. Can they do it? Or can Optic hold on to have a 2-1 series edge? I'm nervous. <laughs> Well, I mean, hell, this became, I, there's been so many, like, invasions we've casted that are just, honestly, you're, like, falling asleep at one point because there's just been nothing really all crazy that happens. And round five hits, you're like, and away we go. That's just how it goes sometimes. But you still got to try and get this final tick to close this out for your boss, boss of breach and take a 2-1 advantage. There's one kill for Prisa. You try to see the way Boston's been fighting this right from the middle of the map a little bit different. A lot of the times we just see teams trying to run up B. They're opting not to do that. So they get a couple of kills. Those players spun up blue side. And now you're kind of in this standoff. But here we are. They're going to get on the point. Trophy down. Pitch comes in from Shotzi. It's a two versus two. Snoopy able to stay alive in Boston Breach. They find all six ticks in round number five. Listen, I don't, I don't know how to explain it. It's some voodoo. Yeah. It doesn't make a lot of sense. 
sounds like a hurricane or a tornado. Some natural phenomena. <laughs> no, it seriously is. <laughs> just how many times? Like, I mean, we were just joking at the beginning of that round because it was so lopsided. You're thinking, now nah, there's no round five magic this time, and there is. I, I don't, I don't get it. But it is a Boston breach win, and it felt sort of like. I mean, I was kidding a little bit, like just hit stuff, but it felt like it sort of was like you know they, they were trying to be so disciplined on the setup, and you know had the way they wanted to play it. It felt like they just sort of started going. Started winning some fights. They finally put a little pressure on Optic, created a little chaos. Things fell apart. Yeah, I mean, great map on a Priest, a 30 bomb, 5,600 damage, leading the lobby. He had a great map number two. Uh, Snoopy, though, I think in the round five was the player. So pretty much what Boston did, right? They were attacking B early. When three players went down, as soon as the last player alive, he just played his life. And then the three teammates off spawn just go, starts to go over towards A. Just hit mid tank. Let's see if we can find a couple of gunfights. But it's Snoopy who finds two and pushes up to Gats, and then it's like just the opening. It's the opening to be. How do you know what to like compare yeah. this to? It's like it's like you're watching that like a, a boxing match, like a fight, right? Like someone's just getting wailed on, wailed on, wailed on, and it's just one punch. Like <laughs> it just comes out and you knock him out. Like I'm watching not a movie, like a Rocky movie. Like, if he's gonna win, it's gotta be in this last round. And yeah, it's right. Exa it's exactly what yeah. it is. Wow. It was all defense until that round number five. I'm sure we'll, we'll, we'll look at it, kind of explain what I was talking about, but yeah, Kenny, maybe not the best of maps. Started to bring it back here a little bit. You're thinking with Opti, how good it has been. But yeah, so they get to this point with Slasher in a seam. You have Snoopy pushed up. You see the, the cruises going everywhere. One able to connect, one not able to. And then they break through B. Unbelievable stuff there from Boston Breach. Uh, you know, you have what? The, the map one's pretty lopsided, Optic Dominate. Uh, map two, all Breach, they fry. This one, oh, one of the more lopsided round fives. Like, it's weird in the sense of like, it's so dominant from Optic in some of these rounds, but then this is crazy round five. It's been a 3-2 victory for Breach. We get ready now for Rio. We know the threat that Optic can be. On this hard point, last time we saw him was against Royal Ravens. That ends up being like a 250 to 190 game, but they had that 50, 60 point advantage throughout most of the game. And Shotzi, well, that was him and Pride both with 30s. Yeah, Shotzi, yeah. massive. Well, he game. had 43s. That one I think he set, set the hard point record. Yeah, yeah. Pred, Pred was going off as well. It was still like a close game, but it was just like they were running away. It was just a playground for them. We're on the Boston side. We haven't seen them on this yet. So zero and zero. Maybe trying to again the map pool always a question. Trying to find some hard point success. We'll see what happens. Yeah, and uh, I, I think the good thing for Optic is you've had some of these like kind of crazy losses, uh, map losses and crazy series this year. You know, uh, as Ant kind of on the desk, you know, you need the, the magic a little bit times to like just pull yourselves out of these series. The Minnesota being a big one, like that was a crazy one. So you've been in this spot. You've been down in a series. You've had to bring it back. I think that was probably a very frustrating round loss, 100%. But now you bring it back and try to get the map for win. Now, all of this, in case you're new to watching or just hanging out with us and wondering what's going down, when's the next big event? It's right around the corner. We got a few weeks left, and we head to Miami. Major 2 tournament. Get your tickets now. I can't wait. It's going to be a blast. A couple of weeks. Yeah. I'm going to show off this body in Miami. I've been hitting the Peloton, been walking 10K steps a day, lifted a little bit. I'm telling you, just wait, bro. Give me like six months. I'm literally look like Gronk, bro. Yeah, you guys are probably the same age. <laughs> Damn it. Probably, but uh, no, no, I'm really, I'm really excited. Uh, I, outside of the humidity, Florida is great, but the problem is it's always humid, so Florida sucks, but I'm excited to go. <laughs> Yeah, you'll be sweating, but we play games. You'll be inside. It's it's fine. True, true. No, yeah. It's going to be a whole hell of a lot of fun. We're taking a look at our super soakers, which <laughs> I don't know if you guys saw the, the post the other day. Dash was like, I'm chained. No more hill kittens. Like, it's going to be kicking the hill. And, I, and he said top soaker in his tweet. And I was like, dude, the super soakers get me going. I grew up with those running around the yard. He's been soaking it up, Joe. We bring our squirt guns to Miami. We might celebrate some super soakers. I'm down. I'm down. <laughs> I am with it. Yeah, as you can see, what was that? 99.6. Somebody's got to bump this man off the hill. Yeah, he was just like, I right, listen, I'm not doing hill kit anymore. I, I, these people in the hills, like now and like cats and stuff, I'm over it. <laughs> yeah. It's like, all right, I'm with you, Dash. You're he must be a dog guy like us. Ah, oh, Rio Hardpoint, map four. Boston looked to close it out. Unfortunately for them, going against one of the better hardpoint teams. 
in the game. They got choke slammed. Map one. It was all optic in the Karachi. Give me a stat show that bodes well for Boston. And this has been their best game mode with a team. There you go. I, we haven't seen him on this map, so that's... I don't really have many stats for you. <laughs> no, no, I knew you would. That's why I asked. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, give me so something. So I pulled some out. <laughs> <laughs> and it looks like Shots is taking down his team, so we may have a little reset. Maybe they picked the wrong side. Who knows? Maybe someone's controller unplugged. Yep, we're not sure. We'll get back in, into as quickly as we can. Just a, little bit of a, just a little bit of a tease there. Sometimes we like to tease you a little. I started undoing the top button of my shirt to tease viewers a little bit. I didn't used to do that. Just confidence right I now. lost a little weight from my chest hair, and now I think I'm... I don't know. What was the guy on Baywatch? What was his name? Come on. What can I think of his name? You got this. Dude, all I can think of is Pamela Anderson. What was it? Hasselhoff. Hasselhoff. Yeah. yeah. I think I'm Hasselhoff now. Look at this. It's not great. Should I just do the whole thing like this? Everybody's watching like, dude, you kind of look like my dad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. God, I am so old. That's okay. But uh, we're thinking quick restart. Don't think it's anything. Yeah, major. I'm sure it was just like, at home. Maybe it's a new map. Maybe you picked the wrong side. Could Something be. like that. Could be. Kenny's cheese, and he's smiling, trying to bring it back after a rough map. Three fist bumps out from Pred, and we look to get it dialed in. You saw that was a that was a big that was a big win for Breach. You saw how fired up they were. Well, honestly, I, I mean, we've had some. It seems I think at times to be mentally taxing, and I feel like throughout the series, it feels like a bad play or a map, a map like map one happens. Sometimes that's it. So the fact that they bounce back from map one, and now we're in this position, props to Boston Breach. Also well, props to their academy well, team who uh, won the, the Challengers Elite last night. So yeah, awesome. shout out to Cammy. It's our guy. Yeah, he's. We've been wanting to see. Uh, you know, kind of. I had like Cammy. a one point two eight in the final. Oh, yeah, he's 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 I, real good. I, I wondered if it was just like a you know maybe just go down there, regain a little confidence, get that mental game back and strong because when he's at his best, oh lordy, what a beast he can be. Speaking of beast, see this guy one point seven one current JD in the series. Last time we saw him on this map, he set the record with 43 kills, but Breach on the hill early. Yeah, no, he was uh, unbelievable. He said Pred was right there with him. Really, the whole team kind of dominated as they just did. Kenny, Shotzi, Pred. Find all four, getting to the point. We got 20 seconds remaining on this hard point. What do you see in the minute? Yeah, so three players are gonna spawn out here for Breach as they start to rotate on over. So number one, Snoopy, he's just stayed here. And you, you're not gonna know if he's here if you are Optic. So, Everything kind of rely on this. And now with Kenny in the safe spawn, you're definitely not going to know that he is here. So Kenny's going to watch the pinch. But Snoopy, he's going to be in this spot for a while now. So you're going to get the rest of the time if you are optic. Maybe your comms, though, are sort of like, where is Snoopy? Where is Snoopy? We got to find him. We obviously can't hear those right now, but he's going to probably find the first kill. Or is he? There we go. They check this spot. Heads up play from Dashi and Optic to find him. Yeah, now that's... That's basically 30 seconds wasted if you're stupid because you were chilling there for a while looking to get the surprise. It does not happen. I kind of thought something was up just the way Pred's arrow was like kind of lurking, like looking at the back alley at first. That's why we always say like calling names is so important. Don't let somebody get loose. I'm sure it happens so much like rank play when you're playing with random. It like, does. dear God, I can't even imagine how one moment like that could disrupt everything. Yeah, but this is honestly a great job here at P2. This is normally a hill just due to nades and stuns. Things get pretty crazy. We're off to, they've bought in 40 seconds on this P2, and it's just due to their presence. Pred and Shotzi getting pushed out, always putting pressure on Draj. And this is what Opti did last time, right? Put the pressure on Boston to hold this P3, because Carolina, they were not able to do so. Almost the Renetti win at range there from Dashi, but couldn't quite win it now. Next hard point is up. I can test for a moment before Shotzi scrambles away, trying to cut people off a rotation. The movement is nah. there. The snapback is on. That one can't happen. Triple positive is Shotzi. What? Woo. This guy ran down middle SG's flight boxes, threw a stun, got three kills. This guy is insane. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand how he does half the stuff he does, but Absolutely nuts there from Shotzi. Priest, though, trying to be the equalizer as he gets a triple, traded right after the trip. But it's been a flurry of fights inside third. 20 Miguel, still big lead here, Rafa. At least maybe you find the rest of the scrap time if you are uh, Boston and keep this within 50. But behind that opening break, Texas are going to take the 
cushion of a 60 point lead in this map number four, trying to get us to a game five. And it's similar to like what we saw for them against Carolina as Kenny gets on to five in a row, one away from his streak as he's having a nice individual moment. But it was like a 60 point lead and they've held onto it throughout. Can they blow the doors open again on hidden map one, just dominate this map? Potential to do it here. Oh yeah, maybe things finally calm down as you get some presence pushed out of the hill. If, okay, well, I thought Asim was gonna win that one. That would definitely help their setup, but the nade will from Slasher gets Pred out of the way. He's able to find the second. And there we go. So a little bit peaceful there on the hill. Uh, you needed that moment if you were breach, 100%. Like, it feels like if this is gonna be, now granted, you take the round five off the board, I guess, but if this is going to be messy, <laughs> And it's going to come down to just gun skill at times. Like, Optic's going to have the advantage. You're going to have to out-discipline them at times. You're really going to have to hold your setups if you're breached. And you're going to look to win this map four. But basically, what? You have 50, 60 points there. It's a really solid hold. You're right back in the swing of things. Well, they got pushed out of the hill. And I think that's really the key. If you're going to stop Shotzi or Fred from doing what they've been doing, you have to catch them mid-sprint as they're starting their routes. And that's what I think you're starting to see here right there from a seam, right? You're finding of these players as they are trying to yeah. make plays instead yeah. of allowing them to just run around. Yeah, it's like playing off the back foot versus you getting ahead and tucking away in a corner, trying to be the annoying one. To and you get <laughs> camera and loose. just Shotzi sliding left, right, and center. Yep, yep. One way to slow him down is to not let him get going. Got this lead down to 15 now. Back-to-back -back moments here. From Boston Breach, Slasher on three in a row. Little Chow almost takes another with him. Just continues to wide peak this. Finally getting a drop is Shotzi able to go up top. Basically a tie game. One point separating these teams. Great shot from Boston Breach coming back in this one. 100%, yeah. P4 and P5 massive for them. And now they're set up here towards this P1. So you're gonna have Slasher and Asim just kind of hanging out as the headshots will connect. And I think just like, just hard point control in general might slow Strazi down at times. Just like you dictating the pace and the position and where they're coming from. Like when, when Optic has control and he's allowed to just go roam, like it can be so frustrating, but you have hard point control. It's gonna slow him down. Like he was, he went from what? He was like 12 and three or something to 15 and 11 or something over that stretch. Like maybe start to frustrate him a little bit. And it's exactly what you need. Snoopy able to catch both of them as he gets pushed out from the hill. So we are gassing up Optic, and then over the last three hills, Breach has just taken over this game. Well, I think it's been a really good way to show just like, I don't know, how much easier the game can be when you have control of the hard point, right? And you're not trying to constantly get breaks over and over. No, so we went to a listen-in with Optic Texas in the first game. It was really, really solid. One of the better listen-ins we've heard on the year. Curious here, Breach now, as they battle back into this map to a listen-in. Yeah. 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 He went info. He went info. Where are you spawning? Info dashy, really weak, Austin. Awesome. Oh, I got some trap. Info dashy dead. Awesome. No, 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 no
I think it was interesting to hear, you know, kind of exactly what we've been talking about. Like, they're, they're saying, I think Shotzi might pinch. I think he might pinch. They kind of forget about it for a second. They're like, I think two are playing old. There's 15 seconds left. The hard point is starting to think about next. Next spawn, Shotzi pinches, kills three. Yeah, like, you not just many players who... 12 seconds left on a hill, hit it on a, a wide pinch, and he does. He finds three kills. A breach replay for that scrap time, and basically what it does is it allows Opti to get set up at P3, and it, it was a very clean hold as they now have a 30 point lead. Yeah, I mean, the kills come in early enough that they aren't, you know, it doesn't like favor, give them some good cushion. spawns yeah. or anything, it just gives them the cushion, exactly. But it's just interesting to hear, like, even though they're trying to deal with it and trying to keep track of them, still sometimes. And then there you go, you the, the P4 hold, the P4 setup for Boston, but who is it? I mean, it's a force free for Shotzi. He's able to get the player on the hill, playing his life now inside of the garage. And well, he's on five in a row. I know we have been saying his name a lot in these hard points, but there is a reason why this guy just continues to go off map after map. Yeah, and uh, I mean, is this is going to be form for him the rest of the year. Like, is he just, you know, playing like he does, playing this position, it's a lot about timings and just, you know, finding that rhythm. He might have hit another gear in this title. We'll see. As he's now on eight in a row, 29 and 16. They just can't kill him. Fred trying to follow him up with a little fancy footwork of his own, but that spree still going for Shotzi. Here comes the streak. A scene gone. And what was close, what was basically a tie game, has been all optic. Basically, since that triple, it's been all optic. It was like 150 to 30 at some point, right? Yeah. Around yeah. there for Boston yeah. Breach after that P1 into the P2. Yeah, we'll look at the flow chart, but we're headed. I guess. <laughs> I stopped. Almost there. Almost? You just need one more second if you are optic. Yeah, I'm not sure they got a point, really. I mean, now they did, but I think since that that triple, and you kind of heard the frustration from Boston Breach. Optic just dominate, but Breach doing what they can to battle back into this. You got to play it perfect on both sides. Have to get the time here, get the rotation as well. We're headed back to mid-map, but as Dashi and Pred take down three, that should be the final kills. And we're headed to a map five. There we go. Thank you, Joe. He held his breath the whole time. It was impressive stuff. Almost bad enough shit. But uh, yeah, it was what? About 20 seconds separating them. Shotzi ends up going on eight or nine spree, whatever it was, just takes over the map. And it, that it, cushion, it, it, it's like the cushion from one hard point left to like control three, the next two. And again, I don't know. We'll, we'll have to ask the desk maybe if we had a post-game interview with them, just sort of if they switch something up, maybe talk to him. Because like you could see like, I don't know, I wouldn't want to say it's impacting the other players around him, but it's slowing down Pred and his numbers a bit, right? Again, he's right around the one uh, KD area, but I mean, they're winning by, well, a 100-point club map one. They're winning by 75. He's double, like, I mean, you can't really say stop if he's playing like this. No, no, I mean, well, you could if, like, you were losing maps. Yeah, no, for yeah, sure. Yeah, if, you yeah were, if you were losing. If you were losing hard points and he was putting up those numbers, maybe, maybe something's wrong. But the fact is, uh, this little stretch here, they're getting the hard point victories and he is putting up some absolutely insane numbers. I mean, the only thing that we haven't really had, so wait, let's see. Yeah, it was 148 to 130. Yeah, yeah, so then I think that we kind of scratched those final 20 points because it was 249 on the board. I mean, it's basically, yeah, they got like 20 points. And that that was after the, that like P2 triple. They just never looked back, never lost control. Shots, he's been, uh, he's been remarkable. But I, the, the thing though, is like the, the competition with regards to Hardpoint hasn't really been that tough. So I think they've played like lights out Hardpoint teams. Um, Carolina at times has been a pretty, a very improved Hardpoint team. Those, I think both those games are what, about 50, 60 point games they had versus Optic. Uh, but you haven't, you know, played against like the necessarily the top competition those, but you're also getting some blowout victories, like the map one. Like, I don't yeah, care you, who you're, you're playing. Yeah, you're different That's... ways too. Like you're finding a lot of these breaks, but even there in that, in that map, like that second P3, they, I mean, it was full control. That's when they really ran away with it. And then you combine that with sort of the P4 break, and that's why the score is what it was at the end of the game. No, 100%. Now you've got two teams that are um, not search to destroy phenoms by any stretch of it. Both are looking to improve. Both are looking to, to widen that map hole. It's been a thorn in the side of this Boston Breach team really since the, the title came out. They're looking to find these search to destroy victories. They do such a great job in map two. They get the terminal victory. They stick to their game plan. Can they do it in map five? It's coming up next.
up your competition with the Executive Chef Operator. Now available in-game in the Call of Duty Store. Upgrade your game with the SCUF, the official controller of the Call of Duty League. We've had ourselves a banger. Map five, getting ready to go. Now we got Karachi coming up. How's it look for Optic so far? I mean, this is one of their better search maps, four and one on the year. Uh, the other side for Breach uh, with the team, one and one. So coming into this match, the only map they won was Karachi, yes indeed. But we did see map number two, their terminal getting better with the team. So some improvements there. Yeah, I mean, considering how poor their search story has been, it's one of your wins. Yeah, I think bodes well since the team yeah. has joined. So uh, maybe a chance to do it. Hopefully we'll have a a banger here because this has been a it's been a really fun series uh, we thought this one might be competitive uh just due to the fact the boston breach with or without a seam they've always been able to i don't know, go to toe to toe with about anyone it's just whether they'd be able to pull off a victory um optic at times have come out slow like i thought this might go the distance it hasn't gotten there how i thought it would <laughs> probably to about five but here we are yeah i mean it, with the way sort of boston breach have looked better in hardpoint with a seam would you expect a two three five victory maybe not but that is the way they're gonna have to do it here. Yeah, this is the overall season. Yeah, with the seam, it's only one and one, but yeah, one of their better ones on the yeah, year. Yeah, it's like two, three, five. Yeah, maybe the recipe to beat Optic, but not usually win. <laughs> yeah. That's your worst mode if you're a boss of breach. This would be one of those series that you think would be like a hard counter for them. Like, their one mode, the other team is just one of the best in that particular mode. Tough luck, but so far they've done it. They've done enough to get here to the map five. Now, Optic, they have battled in some of these series. They have been tested. They've gone the distance. They've clutched up when they needed to. And some of these map fives, we'll see. They've got the sauce here again. Shotzi has been the playmaker. 
throughout this while we're starting on his POV, but it's a first blood for Breach, and that was the map two thing that really, really stood out. It was first bloods everywhere, and Snoopy just got screwed by running upstairs. We've all been there, just doesn't ever see him. Well, I mean, yeah, but he, he I mean, their shots are in the comms, or that shots he's weak, and he just, I, I'm, I guess he just thinks he's in the corner, but that first blood kind of out the window, bomb planted. I think he thinks he was still outside the corner. He yeah. didn't see him cross. You know how it is when you're running upstairs sometimes, like the railing. Yeah. I still think he saw him. But Pre I, I, on this retake, again, going for the 3v3, Priesta, who was so great in map two, finds two kills. And just giving up bomb sites is this Breach team opting to play with their numbers. So what do you, we'll, we'll see if it continues throughout this, but if you are Optic and you lost that map one, or map two, you see maybe a similar setup here for Boston Breach. Anything you can do to try and combat kind of how they're trying to play search right now? I mean, this is a much different map than, than tournament. If they're going to give us B plants, you take them all day, <laughs> right? Uh, B is not <laughs> easy to retake. Obviously, they're not snaking on these headies, but there's still a lot of very strong headies. <laughs> yeah, yeah on this spot. So can't, can't expect uh, maybe the retake magic to be quite as strong as it was on Terminal. Just doing the difference in maps. We're taking a look at a replay now. It's Priesta getting multiple here. And there you get to see it. Lovely shots out of Priesta. He had a terrific map too. Nice win on the shot. Shots, I know he has the rival there, but still beautiful shots. Yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't even know if shots he's like just trying to get behind him, just kind of wait, right? Just. Get into that position. Try to help his teammate out, but they isolated Dashi now over to Shotzi again. Needs to be the lone player over towards A. Finds one, uses the door, able to find the second. So this attack is stopped by this man. Yeah, you need that too. Uh, get some first bloods early just due to the lack of them. End the map too. And get Shotzi flowing. Priest a chance to maybe recenter and snap, but not able to do it. Slasher out by himself. Trying to clutch up on a 1v4. One of the better search players we've had in the league over the years, but it's going to be a tough one. Well, yeah, especially he's going to work through red. Yeah. Don't have a rival. See Pred playing this top balcony position. Does give him a one-on-one, -on -one, but you're not going to see much of him. See, so he's just crouching, watches that cross, and yeah, oh, yeah I mean, starts, with, starts with Shotzi. You're just sort of guessing, is he high, is he low, where? This it's, quarter, that quarter. It's Call of Duty. By the time you want to react, you are dead. <laughs> so he will get dropped. Shotzi will see his play one more time. It's very reminiscent of like Snoopy in, in map two, right? Playing that back plane position. Sure. You're just playing around info. And then making an individual play, and that's what he does. Side up 1-1 one, one now. We'll see what the plan of attack will be on offense from Texas. Looking to be pressure towards B. You've got three here before Boston Breed, so one-on-one on, one on the other side of it will likely be Pred and Snoopy. One thing is, I don't know if they know Slasher got there. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't know if stuns or nades hit him. It looked like Slasher got the back bridge pretty clean. And that is a key position on this B bomb site. But over towards A, Snoopy will get caught. And there's that one-on-one. -on -one. Asim brings it back, though, as he gets the kill on to Shotzi, so the first blood kind of wiped off the board. Slasher is trying to dance, trying to stay up, tries to wrap the edge, not going to happen, but at the same time, Asim once again gets a kill. He's got two in this round. Every time you get numbers, if you're Optic, Asim has brought it back. Deddy pop now. Yeah, with that little finesse. Look at the party. Yeah, so they catch Deddy, so. It was turned into a two-on-two, two, but Bomb is down now for Asim versus Pred and Dashi. And maybe they know Bomb's down. Asim working on the ace. That's three for him in this round. Pred was having a big one himself, but taken out of it. Dashy, Asim, 15 to go. Doesn't have Deddy on. He stop it, gets eyes. It was plant or hold for the kill. Dashy chooses to hold. Get a child, not going to happen. It's an ace for big Asim. What a brilliant moment for the newcomer on this Boston Breed squad. And that might be as simple as, all right, who is it? He's not going to play it, right? Just knowing sort of tendencies, player tendencies, how they want to play it. And Asim just holds the 50-50. I'll let this guy plant, but I'm just going to hold my irons. I'm not getting caught. Especially, I love it because he doesn't have Deddy. I, if that player hears him running forward, he is dead. So he just holds it. And as you said, there is the ace in the round. Yeah, and like, it's, yeah, it's dashy. Like, if I take the, he hears me stop it too. I'm not winning that one-on-one -on -one yeah. if he's on the bomb head. It didn't happen. And so you gamble. 
you win it. The water round there from a seam. Six and one, four in a row. And now they take the pressure over towards A. Yeah, right Last time, Shotzi peeled them apart. This time, we'll see how it plays out. Smoke out. Shotzi with the first blood. Shotzi with two. Different position this time around, but the same result. I mean, I don't know if this is just hard counters here from from Optic or what. I mean, last time there was only Shotzi. This time they sent two. So I'm thinking we're going B. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, Optic too, because there's no nades going over the top, right? So when Pred is crossing the bridge, he's like, there's no nades here, boys. Um, I'm not getting stunned. My trophy's not eating nothing. So there, no. That A call is correct. Slasher. Once again, in a tough one versus four. I mean, it, this... Feels like it's deja vu almost from two rounds ago. Knock, knock. Who's there? Slasher, sla sla Slasher's there. 25 seconds to go. Oh, can't get away. <laughs> it makes it a little more interesting than maybe we thought it was going to be, but they close out the round. Shotzi, once again, shutting it down on defense. Yeah, I mean, Boston's offense just hasn't even developed. Uh, it's just going right over towards A, trying to play it. Not happening. Oh, no, they're, they're, their offensive round's like over and, yeah. 10 seconds. Like <laughs> so it wouldn't surprise me next time we see them, they just kind of slow, maybe a slow spread, spread things out. Maybe you just go to B. We'll see. But back over to defense now for them. Snoopy on four. We'll see if he can find his first kill of the round. Go to B or is find a way to deal with shots efficiently. It's just tough. I mean, <laughs> what position is he going to be in? Is he going to have help? Like, can be so hard. But it's 2 2. The Asim Ace has kept you in this. Now Snoopy. He's going to be the lone man here. And Shotzi's probably thinking, like, where would I be? <laughs> no, that's exactly what he's thinking. Yeah, yeah how, how would I play these these positions? Well, it doesn't check that one. So first blood from Snoopy is on the board, and I love that. Just backs up, plays his life. Now he has some help here. But Asim gets caught sprinting. Oh, no. He's just got to hold there, watch his teammates cross. Instead, I think just tries to find a different position. Brisa, though, ready for the climb. Yeah, just patient there. Just lays down and holds it. Snoopy, great job backing up. Kind of baits, not really baits his teammates, but lets them sort of deal with the fights across. Then he peeks up again and gets another. And that's fine. Sort of let them forget about me and deal with the others. Then he pounces. 3-2, not a breach. Yeah, just A has not been working for other teams. No, well, no, it is just not. The, the first blood. Nice shots there from Priesta. Yeah. And I thought when a seam got caught out, I got a little nervous. Well, I thought the reason yeah, I got nervous too because it's sort of like at first they were like, okay, screw Snoopy, hang out back there. Let's Everyone else is going to be rotating. Let's just cut them off. And I thought at first they were cutting them off. Like, Priestley got railed down to whatever HP. Yep. If they would have lost both of them, it's probably done. Yep. No. Yeah, and then you can just wrap back to B. Yeah. Too. Pred, I mean, maybe didn't have to hit the ladder. Tries to. Knows Priest is up there maybe weak, but so much time had passed. He's just holding the ladder. It's been a wild series, and it continues here in the map five. Edge to Boston. Okay, so this time you throw some nades over towards B, a smoke down, but they're going to go for it again. Uh, it is the right call because no one is here besides Kenny, who is top AC, just playing info. And while he's going to spot the player, stun is out. Now, maybe he wants to stop the bomb from going down. Doesn't stop it, but at least finds the first blood. So now you take this 4v3. You got Slasher and Pred kind of on the opposite side. Pred's got Debbie up as he's trying to lurk through. We'll focus on the fights here towards the fuse here for a moment. Kenny's going to get caught back to a 3v3 we go. Shotzi trying to hop on it, but he's going to get tagged up. Dashy gets one. Shotzi looking to battle. Oh, that helps. 3 for Boston. Slasher gets the kill through. Yeah, it didn't bloom yet. It didn't oh, bloom oh. yet. And now you have one player trying to finesse. That's Snoopy. And well, on the other side, Slasher's able to win his one on one. No time. No time. And there we go. Boston go back to A. And they convert it into a round win. And yeah, they, you kind of said, oh, that'll help. Like the smoke, but yeah, then he just gets bloom. ripped like right as he goes in. Then you've got one of those fights where it's two people running around the smoke. And those are about as fun as I don't know what the most least fun thing on the world is, but that, that. You go up 4-2 if you're a Boston Breach. Yeah, it's like you get that kill, Dashy, but then, yeah, Slasher's able to find Pred. Some of these key one-on-ones just buying Boston a, enough time. Yeah, because Slasher and Pred were the two kind of on the offside that are sort of waiting on that fight to go down. I think they both kind of got back to help from different spots, and you get the advantage if you're Boston Breach. 
Kitty Wimbo search and destroys. Pret, that's a lovely first blood off the barrel. Snoop gets his head popped right off a of seam. Brings it back, guys. on one over the top. It will drop it. The trade is there again. It's Shotzi that does it. And Shotzi, did he just get another? Yeah, no, he did. Was that Batman or was that Shotzi? Well, oh, Batman's his teammate. Yeah, Spider-Man's? He needs it. Yeah, no, that's that's a better call there. Nope. Bro. I mean, Andy hits the little hop there just to give him a little bit more movement. And that's gross. In real time, it's going to look even smoother. Dude, those there we shots go. are clean. Are well, you a little bit aroused? I mean, whew. some good quality Call of Duty right there. 4 3 now. Edge the breach. But what a round there from this freak. It's like when it's all said and done, no, they're still down around. Yeah. Working to get aggressive. Get Shotzi to a position to fight. He gets spotted and he's going to take it. I don't think he cares whatever gunfight he can get into. He wants to get it rolling. 10 and 4 for him. Kenny picks off Snoopy as well. Four on two early for Optic Texas behind the aggression. They've taken all the map control on the planet. Slash able to take him down, but he was left in another one on four position. And that in well, his streak was about four or five, so probably, you know, big kill, make sure you don't get a streak, but you know, I mean, even though his shots on the pillar, how many times have we seen like you lose aim assist, it lose gets aim a little wide, it was still smooth. Yeah. Well you, I think after I saw his shots jumping off behind a car, bunny hopping and still all headshots that I yeah, he's he's shooting straight right now. So Guy's a freak. From 4 2 quickly to 4 4. He's already at double digits. You're not wrong, though. It gets a little windy sometimes. No, yeah, moments. no. And that's what I think Priest is thinking. He's like, screw it. I'm going to just get to my teammates and le let him be. Just, all right, he's on the flank. Let's focus elsewhere. A couple headshots come through, though. <laughs> and it's done. 4 4. And this is all just kind of a fake here from Fred. So he's opening the doors, and let's see what this kind of causes here. You can already see two players rotating. And I thought they were just going to go towards B behind that. And it looks like Optic may be a bit confused. Because that should open up B. Yeah, it looked like they got their game plan perfect, but then changed the game plan after the game plan of the game plans. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, okay, so four versus two now. Shotzi with another win. Still have numbers if you're breach. Bomb down close to mid-map. And things seem to be falling apart here for Optic Texas. Well, Shotzi's still alive. That's a good point. They're trying to cut it through. Trey comes in, but now Dashy by himself, and he will drop what looked to be a you know kind of a fake. Well, it's even early. a fake because Pred has a smoke there, right? Shotzi's normally the smoke guy. Well, I guess it just depends on who's doing what. But yeah, the fact that like, all right, I'm gonna run this. I'm going to open up this door, and it was the right call. You had two players rotate back, leaving Slasher at the bridge. Uh, but then I, I don't know what happened. I don't know what they saw, but they're like, screw it, let's turn around. Or just whatever information Pred's thinking, nobody's home. Like, let's hit it quick or yeah. something. But, like, the defense gets there first as they rotate, rotate over. So, I, I don't know. One more round now needed for Boston Breach. A has been tough at times. They've been peeled apart by Shotzi. The one time they get through, he's not playing from that position. Now Shotzi, back to his spot. Can they deal with Shotzi, or does he tear them apart to push this to around 11? For me, it's all on this. Here we go. Oh, the shoulder works. The shoulder works. And now he's going to get out with his life. He does have health, though. Kenny's there. We saw this two-man game earlier in the map. Nice job by Shotzi to just play his life and look at his bomb is down. The other three players are out. Even when you're not getting kills, he's still being affected from this spot. I mean, the fact he stays alive, gets the information, buys time for the help to come through and then get the kill. You're frantically all over the place. Now, if you are breach, just up mid map, bomb is gone. What do we do with 35 to go? There's one for Snoopy. They not no bombs down. Maybe not. I thought they were just going to sort of uh oh wait regroup. It looks like they think this is going to be a B hit. They here, don't so. know. Yeah, bomb is down and A A is wide open. Okay, okay. So bomb planted. This this uh, hit's different. Yeah, they didn't see it. Didn't realize it. It happens, and now we're into a three versus three. Priest able to get out with his life at 37 HP. Now Shotzi looks to get involved in the dance. 
He's got Kenny close to work with. Breach play from the post plant, the three versus three. Slasher goes to Chow, Shotzi with the kill. Now it's Priest's turn. Next up the bat. Shotzi in, just shoots some shots behind. Barely does damage, but he's got him on skates and the retake is a thing of perfection. They don't lose a man in the three on three. We're going around 11. Yeah, I mean, Kenny knows the info. They know it's Priestess. So as soon as they find the first kill in the three on three, Kenny's probably telling his teammates, all right, Priest is all, are, are also there, right? The red name pops up. And then, yeah, through the door, his pre-fire hits. So Priest is looking left, yeah. right, left, right, left, right, left, right. And, and he didn't he really, dies. I think it only hit him for like six damage. Like he went from like one to one. Yes, Scary. exactly. No, it made him panic. It 100% did. You saw like his POV. He starts getting like frantic with it and things fall apart. I've been felt the same way, but Ghost was shooting me through the door. <laughs> Round 11 in a wild one. Shotzi, another banger of a series up to 12 and six. One more round to There's crown no way we go A, right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way, but all right. So it looks like you're gonna get pred through towards back bridge. It looks like they spot him. Now is the time to isolate. They gotta worry about where are the other players. Could help there. Because the seam, oh, he's still going to drop though. I thought he might have got him out of harm's way, but it's a first blood optic Texas, courtesy of Dashy. 4v3 now. Pred gets involved from back bridge. Things falling apart here for Boston Breach. It was A all game with very little success. They tried to mix it up to B. Things fall apart. Shotzi still getting kills on this side of the map. Priesta, last alive. So much to do. Yeah, 40 seconds to work with. Bombs down B as well. I mean, they are pretty split, but it looks like you're gonna have Kenny just go for the peak, and there we go. Round 11, map five, Optic clutch on up. And that's been the story of this Optic team as of late. Like, it hasn't been the cleanest. It hasn't been the prettiest, but they battle through. They walk away with a win. You see some improvements in their Karachi hard point in map one. They're still working on some things, sure, but when they need the ice, it's been there. No, it has. I mean, there's this series is there's a couple of maps where you're like, we're the best, and there's a couple of maps <laughs> yeah. that you're like, well, not really sure what happened there. But I will tell you what, the form that Shachi is in right now is different. Uh, and if you would have lost that series, that's a series where you're like, I don't know what I could do differently. Yeah. But it doesn't happen. <laughs> he puts up 13. Kenny's got 2,000 damage, leads the way. Well, Slasher's got almost 2,300 damage, but. Yeah, 